IntelliPeer CAP Fundamentals On Demand. Understanding your data with insights. Viewers will learn how to read a dashboard, how to export charts and data, and how insights can reach out to you. Insights is a data visualization tool that receives information from voice services, messaging, and smart flows. In this module, we'll use insights to examine smart flows interactions using data from the IntelliPeer Training Lab. We'll begin at the customer portal. I'll select the insights icon. Here's the dashboard, the core of the insights tool. The dashboard presents data from our environment as graphs and as widgets. Let's narrow our scope a bit, from usage across voice, messaging, and smart flows to just smart flows. We'll select the little arrow icon above the graph, select smart flows, and then select smart flows again. The graphs and widgets we see now pertain only to smart flows usage here in the lab the projects attendees build and test during our free, hands-on live training sessions. Let's expand the time window from the past week to the past month. We'll head to the upper left here and change this number from 7 to 30, and you'll see the arrow on the right light up. That arrow is a reload button, and it lights up when we modify a filter as a prompt to remind us to reload to see the data with the filter choices we just made. The first thing you probably notice are the quiet days on the graph, since the training team doesn't lead sessions on the weekends. These other weekdays, we're developing new workshop content, familiarizing ourselves with system updates and new features, or creating instructional videos like the one you're viewing now. Let's take a closer look at the number of flow executions over the past 30 days. When we click on the number, a little menu pops up. We'll choose Show All from the menu, and a panel will appear. This panel has a row for each of these executions, with detailed information about each one. Now, we'll close this panel and talk about how to access this information outside the browser window. Up here in the upper right, see those three dots together? If you spent time in a web-based tool, you understand that a three-dot icon is going to present a menu. We call this the Dashboard Options menu, and there are a couple of choices here we'll discuss. First, we'll choose Download. A panel is going to come up. We'll select PDF for this. And then click the Download button. It'll take a moment to generate the PDF. And here's a version of the dashboard suitable for printing and framing, or putting on a digital sign, or attaching to an email message. We'll close these browser tabs and return to the dashboard now. Let's take another look at a widget and find out how to export the data behind a key metric. We'll head back to this menu and select Smart Flows Messaging this time. This will bring up a new dashboard that focuses on all the messages sent from or received by a flow in our environment. Let's look at the total sent messages. In this panel, we see there's a line for each message sent up to the past 500. Now, we'll select the download text and make sure CSV is selected. Then, we'll click the blue download button. Let's open this CSV up in Excel. Here, we have this information saved locally. Since it's in CSV, we can open it in Excel or import it into Tableau or OpenRefine or whatever your tool of choice is for data visualization. And the past 500 limit in the web view does not apply to the CSV export, so all of the activity in the chosen time frame will be included. We'll exit the Details panel to see a couple of ways that Insights can proactively reach out to you and your collaborators. When we mouse over any graph or widget in a dashboard, a little bell icon appears. That bell icon allows us to set an alert for that metric. In this case, we can set an alert to notify us via email when the total number of sent messages reaches a milestone in a certain time frame. We can set a quantity, like 100, and a recurrence, like daily at 5.30 p.m. So we'll receive a message at 5.30 any day our environment sends more than 100 SMS messages. This could be a celebration, like, yay, we sent 100 messages today, or an alarm, like, Whoa, we sent 100 messages. Maybe we should adjust the flow not to send so many. 
it's up to us. We'll close this panel and check out one more way to share this information out by sending the dashboard on a schedule. We'll head back to that little menu and choose Schedule Delivery. We can choose a frequency, once a day or once a week, and send this dashboard to ourselves so we don't need to log into Insights to view it, or add other recipients, like coworkers or partners who don't have an IntelliPeer login but still want to stay informed. One last thing I want to show you here is this link in the upper right, Insights Documentation. This is a link to our documentation site, docs.intellipeer.com. This link takes us straight to the section on Insights, but the site includes illustrated instructions for Engage, Smart Flows, everything we've covered in these modules, and more. So that's Insights. In this module, we examined usage data from the IntelliPeer Training Lab in Insights.